try to call in. Yeah. And yeah. then Mr. Paval just texted me and said, can he hear or see me? And, and he's, uh, I'm going to tell him, no, we can't yeah. hear you. Okay. If we got to bear with us for a, quorum, a second. We, we have a quorum. We have a quorum with, with, um, with Ted and Robert. Yeah. And me and Paul, they're together. Me and Paul are separate. I, but Kirk and Maurice are on. They are just they They have themselves muted. Okay, Dominic, can you? She We're can't. Good. Do it. And then, do you guys want me to share my screen to see all the Dropbox materials, or y'all gonna follow along on <laughs> your iPads? I think you share, Dominic. Okay. Also, FYI, I think I mentioned this the other day, we're streaming this live on YouTube to fulfill our public meeting requirement. It's a 20 second delay. And then when we get to executive session, I'll turn that live stream off. Okay. Just FYI. Okay. Yeah, that's a good thing to know. Can you tell if anybody, anybody is watching? Danny? Probably not. Yeah, okay. Two people are watching right now. Zoom bombing us? Yes, or if it being older, I'll begin. Uh, public hearing 714 Ruby Street, uh, owner Sheila Hicks, uh, 203 Washington Street, owner Louise Thomas, both of those report no progress, 634 North Bio Avenue, owner Barbara Jean Ray Blaylock, the owner's requesting a 30-day extension, 632 North Bio Avenue, Catherine Elizabeth Bobinger, no progress, 603 North Bio Avenue, Aubrey Johnson, no progress. And 312 West Carpenter Street, uh, that's Carpenter Estates LLC, and the fence has been repaired and it is okay to remove from the list. It would be in order for you to have a motion and second to grant as recommended. Okay. All right, Dominic's, Dominic's putting it on her screen. Billy, before you got on, we said it would be a whole lot easier if we go in ward order to vote on this stuff instead of everybody trying to talk over each other. That's exactly right. If y'all will do that, whoever makes the motion, call your name, and whoever seconds, call your name, and then do it by ward order. Gary Gantz, let him make a motion to approve. Okay. Grant the extension. Grant the 30-day extension. Yes. yes sir. Okay. Rock, Gary, Robert, second. All in favor? By war. Uh, Danny is not on here. Danny's not uh, on. Maurice is not. Uh, Ted? Maurice is on, but we can't hear him. Kirk is on, and we can't hear him. All right. Okay, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Uh, engineering. Let me pull him in. Okay. Hey, Dominique, don't put up your screen unless it's something we need. I agree. Yeah, it's too much trouble. It's too, it's, it's really gets confusing. It does. Voting. All right, Josh is coming in. There he is. Hey, okay, Josh. Josh, you got it. Josh, you got to connect your audio. He's either that or stay on your phone. Can you hear us, Josh? No, that's not hearing us. Josh? 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 There he is. He's about to connect. You're muted, Josh. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, take it. Sorry. Am I up now? Yes. All right. I'm going to go through my list. Uh, first up, our Highway 8 and 61, uh, we've got to get the board approval for uh, Brian Robinson to subcontract the boring for this project. So moved. This is Paul. Paul, Paul make a motion. Gary, second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh, right. Keep moving. Moving on. Police station roof. We have the final pay request for approval for this project. Motion, Robert. Robert made the motion. Second. Ted second. All in favor say aye. 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 Pearl Street drainage. We have uh we've got two quotes running to award to the low quote of uh, Jim Avis. Oh. 
I see Kirk now. Second. Okay, who made the motion? Ted. Ted. Okay, second by Gary. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. All right, Fireman's Park parking lot. Two quotes, low quotes, Brad Powell. We're recommending to a war. Where is that, Josh? Fireman's Park parking oh, lot. Okay, got it. I'll make motion a motion. To Paul made the motion. Gary second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Everybody can see it. Michelle, can you see everybody saying aye? Okay. Continue on, Josh. All right. Bear Pen Park Dollars Project. Um, we got two quotes. We recommend to award to the low quote of Brad Powell for installation and the low quote for materials. The materials have got to buy separately out of Texas, the bollards themselves. I recommend to approve them both. So moved. Gary. Okay. All, all in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Aye. Right. The Aguzi Sewer Basin, we've been looking at uh, – a couple different options to try to lower the stormwater that infiltrates that station. We have a bypass option of uh, putting a high water overflow in that station. We're recommending to approve it. It'll give a lot of relief to the entire sewer basin during these heavy rains like today. So move. Josh. Pop. I have a question. I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, it, did, did we do this to uh, one or two other stations previously? Not well, not like this. Most stations you don't have this option. So okay. This station, since we rerouted this force main back four or five years ago to the west side interceptor, we have the ability to do a gravity high water overflow going to the to the east on this one. Um, and it will now, work, it will work with the current system that Keith has. Uh, that's, Yes, sir. It'll give a lot of relief. It'll, uh, to put it in perspective, it'll double the station capacity during high water events. So if we had Good. this option, we'd do it on every station. You know, and I'm going to tell you what, it's, it's important because for some reason, West Cleveland has been backing up more than any other place in this town. It has, Gary. Okay, Paul, I, 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 you have a motion? I made a motion. Second. Second. Gary, yeah, all in favor say aye. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. All right. What? Last thing on the list, uh, the Hazard Mitigation Committee. The uh, just quick recap: Bolivar County has a mitigation plan, which is through MEMA. Uh, in order to be, the City of Cleveland has their own section of it. Uh, we're recommending to appoint this committee, and then we're revising the city section and including all the projects we want in there along with several other different items where many, me and Ray Bell have been working on it. We're recommending to approve this committee today. Okay. You, know, okay. you just want to approve the committee. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So move. Gary. Second. Okay. Uh, Danny. Danny, second. All in favor say aye. 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 The only... The only other item I have is fire station. The contract will be on site in the morning, uh, starting that project. And then Fayette Davis, the contractor has been delayed for weather, but they'll be on site on or before April 27th for Fayette Davis pump. Okay. Any questions of Josh? Okay. Thank you, Josh. Sir, thank y'all. Danny. Uh, Danny Griffith, uh, Danny the Griffith. consent agenda is before you. Would be in order for you to have a motion and second to approve. So I'll move. Gary, Paul, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Okay. Uh, Planning Commission and Community Development. Kenneth Taylor. Wait. All right, let me get him in. Okay. Wait one minute. What about the Danny stuff? Did we have something on city attorney we needed to cover? We had, I've got six more items. We do. I've listed some executive session things and put it in pretty good detail in the written report with some attachments. You may want to cover those otherwise in executive session. Okay. What about hiring bond council, go utility bond resolution? Uh, you, you approved all that with your uh, consent agenda, I believe. No, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not under it's the not consent, consent agenda is what I'm telling you. It's not. Okay, excuse me. Go ahead, Danny. Uh, excuse me. Um, that would be, hold on, I gotta get back to the 
lost. Uh, hiring bond council professional. Need a motion and second on hiring bond council. So moved. Motion. Uh, Paul made the motion. Second. 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 Dominic, I'm still not back to my. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Danny, you back where you need to be? I'm not. The next one was the 2020 GO utility bond resolution of intent. Approval. Correct. Okay. To for Motion and second. That's being advertised. Second. Okay, Paul. Gary, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay. The next is an ordinance uh, to change the time back to 6.30 for the May 6th meeting. I got a question on this. Before we do this, not knowing where we're going to be on May the 6th, do we have to do it 30 days in advance, Diane? As far as I know, yes, sir. Because the I, ordinance I, that we did for this meeting, we have to do an ordinance for each meeting, essentially. So, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I was just thinking that, um, well, I mean, it doesn't say we can't do it like this. We just got to move it back to 6.30. Right. Well, it actually made no, 6.30. I don't have a problem with it. But whatever you want to do. Okay. Robert made the motion. Second. Ted, second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, May the 6th is actually a Wednesday, so it'd be May the 5th, Dominique. I think if you'll check that. Yes, sir. Okay. Have, Danny, you got basketball, your stuff approved? Street basketball ordinance was the next one. Yes. Uh, circulated at the last meeting in order for you to approve. Yes. I, I had a chance to look at that ordinance. Thank you, Danny, for your uh, assistance. Uh, it was ready for us. I, I really thought it went to a thing, but I see it didn't. So I made the motion that we put that in the back. Robert made the motion. Second. Ted, second. Amari, second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, uh, uh. Any opposed? Okay. Executive session, you've got what? Listed several items in the attorney memo. You may or may not want to do executive session on. Okay. How are we going to do an executive? Well, no, ma'am, I don't. Okay. Yeah. It's difficult. I don't know that you need to do one. I gave you pretty good detail. Okay. If everybody's happy with the detail, we'll continue on. Okay, Kenneth, we will now go to you on, on planning commission or community development. Kenneth Taylor? He's connecting his audio now. Okay. He's muted. All right, go ahead, Ken. Okay, um, there is no planning commission update uh, because we haven't met. And right. the other that I have is our community development monthly report, um, which is, you know, um, pretty much standard. So I think if anyone has any questions, I'll be ready to try to answer. Any questions of Kenny? Okay, thank you, Kenny. Uh, thank you. Dominique, we'll go to Lisa Miller. All right. Hey, Lisa. Get this thing working. Kirk, we can hear you now. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm. I've been quick cussing, Kirk. I've been in uh, purgatory for like 15 minutes. <laughs> you had missed him, though. Lisa. Lisa, you're up. If you can hear us. Can you hear us, Lisa? I need to merge your audio. There she goes. Okay, Lisa, you're up. Can you hear us? Now we can. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Lisa. I don't. I don't have anything else to add to my report. Do y'all have questions? Any questions of Lisa? No, I'm just glad and, you had. A, glad you had a good spring break. Yeah, thank you. Stay safe. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, Buster. All right. Let me admit thank him. You, Lisa. I'm leaving, right? Yeah, you too. I'm
right, Chief Bingham. Yes, ma'am. You're up. Yeah. Got some dishes okay. in the background. Okay, is this the just the regular? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. it ain't regular at all. I can understand <laughs> that. Uh, Y'all have my report unless you have any questions. The only other thing that I had was uh, uh, we had one officer to retire, and I would like to be able to give him his service weapon like we've always done in the past. How many years of service did he have, Buster? Uh, I want to say 10 or 12, somewhere in that area. Okay. I make a motion. Paul made a motion. Robert second. second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, okay. I do have. I have a question for Buster. Yes. Okay. Sir. Go ahead. Buster, I'm getting some complaints around um, South Street and around Shamrock Apartments that there's a lot of shooting and a lot of drug activity. Can we get some patrol or something over in that area? Yes, sir. We we can get somebody in that area. Uh, we haven't had a shooting call probably in over about a week and a half or two weeks. We did have some, uh, about uh, two weeks ago, we had some gunfire and we ended up catching some kids with a gun. Uh, it's just like today, we had one truck that got broke into and they stole the pistol and we ended up catching them later on. It was a young man from Ruble that came over to visit people here. So the citizens are very concerned concerning that there are people from outside the neighborhood coming in and they're purchasing drugs, and they say it's kind of open. Okay, do they have a specific area? I mean, uh, a house or something like that, Mr. Smith, that you can call me I later can, on? I can prefer to get that to you in person. Okay, if you'll just call me later on, I will be glad to work on that. I think the problem is the farmers, though, the farmers over there are so... They board them up, and a week after they board them up, somebody's done taking the boards down and they're going back in again. I, I wish they would get demolished. Yeah. See, if I had one comment, I think Ted had one as well. Uh, we did a great job on there in places that also on White Street, but the problem I have is that when you and also being limited to what they're they're supposed to do. What I mean by that is that that officer you put there is just the other kind they think that they can enforce any other laws about anything that they see. And I don't want an officer to sit there and then things more like before and then they got moving to I've I've already moved that officer due due to what we've got going on now. Uh, we don't have an officer sitting there now because of the uh, the what we have going on now, what we're having to do. Uh, I have been as short as five officers at one time due to having to be going home to make sure that they didn't have this uh, coronavirus. And uh, but uh, I've got all of them back now. Their tests have come back negative. So I've got all of them back now, but I'm still going to uh, keep that officer that we had posted over there moving right now because of the fact that everybody's out and uh, there is a lot of movement, but it's not, uh, it's, it's not uh, ganging up, but we still have a lot of movement around. Buster, I want to give you a special thanks for all you've done for me. I know I've been on the phone constantly with you and you You've responded very well, and I appreciate it. Well, thank you. Yeah, I went to the zero, and uh, now on Pearl Street, uh, about between 3.30 and 4 o'clock each day, we have about seven or eight boys that uh, walk from Alo Street to Pearl Street, and today they almost had a, or had a big fight there, and they are cussing, and, and they come out of a group seven, eight, ten, together at all times. And uh, I would like to see an officer in that area more because uh, in that particular area, like I said, it's not a two relatives, two homeowners there. And the rest of the people there are the ones that will not call in to the police department. But I definitely would like to see more of them 
go off of them to a patrol in that area so they can pick these guys up. Every evening, they'd be up between 3 30 and 4 o'clock, about 12 of them. The whole okay. It's kind of it's kind of hard to hear you, Mr. Campbell. You said three thirty or four o'clock in what area? It's right on Pearl, on the Cumberland Way, and Halo. That's the area right there. Okay, and, and about what block number, Mr. Campbell? Do you know? Uh, that's the uh, eight hundred block. Eight hundred block. Okay, I'll make sure we have somebody in that area. Hey, hey Buster, as I understand the guidelines. Uh, you can, uh, we can be reimbursed if you have to work officers overtime. Yes, sir. We're, we're, we're working right on now, it. I'm, I'm looking at that, trying to get that written. I talked with Dominique about it yesterday, um, and we're trying to get something written so we can get some uh, funds made available to us. What was that, Mr. Sanders? You're breaking up very bad. I can barely hear you. I said, when any young men and women come to the scene of anything, they have to take a car. I can't hear anything. I, I can't either. She, he said, I, I, I think, I think, I think Robert is coming to the police officers, not let the kids do what they want to do. He said, don't let the kids doing what they want to do. I mean, these kids need to be stopped. I think if that's, I'm understanding correctly. Yeah. Where are the parents? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. You don't, you don't, you don't ever see the parents. The parents, I don't agree with you. Can we arrest the parents for the, uh, contributing to a delinquency of a minor? Is that something the attorney can, do we file charges on the parents? Possible, but you're gonna have to catch the kids committing the crime and go through youth court. I'd have to have more information on it, Kirk. Okay, that, uh, maybe we can look at. Mr. Campbell, I can yeah. assure you, you'll have somebody over there between 3.30 and 4 tomorrow afternoon well, to make I, sure it's taken care of. That, you know, this is a constant thing every day. You let that little group get together. Uh, like I said, uh, it, 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 it's a lot of room property over there, and people, you know, they're not very concerned like I am. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll have somebody over there, sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you, Buster. All right. All right, let's go to Greg Jackson. Wake up, Greg. Greg, you need to connect Greg. your audio. Greg. Greg, we can't hear you. He can't hear us either. <laughs> We'll go on to the next person. Okay. Greg, can you hear Greg? Michelle, if you'll text Greg. You can go to Jamie. Yeah, let me pull Jamie. Okay. For years, Greg. All right, Jamie is ready to go. We'll come back to Greg. Jamie. Okay. Um, can you hear me now? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Um, the only change. I lost her. I did too. We all lost her. Yep. Keep going. Okay. Don't have her. Don't have her. You're going in and out. All right, we'll go back to Greg while Jamie figures that out. We'll go back okay. to Greg. All right, Greg. All right, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, uh, we're just going to give you all an update on uh, what the fire department's doing. Um, they've changed their response uh, procedures. What you're going to see is a group of officers going directly to the scene. Um, one officer will approach the home or the business, and they will be in full PPE.
I'm Turn sorry. Turn your computer on mute. I assure you, I'm a lot better firefighter than I am a tech guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's At any rate, <laughs> the uh, the firemen will be. Um, you'll see them in full PPE. The, all of the actual guys that are driving the trucks will be going to the station, staying in their vehicles. Um, we'll be manning each fire truck uh, with one person. Uh, if we do have a house fire, then all the firefighters will go as normal. And once they uh, get out of their vehicles, they'll go into full PPE with uh, air mask and all that. We're not going to do anything to alarm anybody, but uh, we want to make sure we protect the public as well as protect the firefighters during this. So um, all our meetings are done by Zoom as well. And uh, we are not doing training uh, other than internet training and uh, training on our own. So we're going to postpone that until next month as well. I, I think I know the answer to this, but I want to ask a question. Do our firefighters and police department and anybody else know houses where there is an infected person? Yes, sir. We have been working with Buster uh, very diligently, and we will actually have a code that comes on the radio when we're dispatched if there is a particular home, and we will know before we respond to that home if it's known. So, yes, sir. Mr. Okay. Gaines Politti, I receive an updated list just about daily with those addresses, and uh, we have those in our possession. Well, good. I mean, we're trying to protect y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Other questions, Greg? Okay, thank you, Greg. We'll move on to Jamie. Yes, sir. Can y'all hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, the only change to my report is that we did end up taking in 90 animals this past <laughs> month, so not much changed in that regard. And um, I, I was listening to y'all speaking to Chief and to uh, Greg Jackson. And I was wondering if they could talk to my animal control officers about those addresses too, if they do get dispatched to those houses to pick up animals or strays, because they're still going on calls. Any call that we have that involves anybody with the city, we try to give that address out. All right, thank you. Because they're still going when they can on calls. Jamie, can you hear me? Yes, sir. What percentage of that was the county? Uh, from my in, in month numbers, the county was 42.7%, 439 was city, and then 13.4 were animals left at the vet, which we kind of expected to happen with our being less open to the public, even though we're still there, people are leaving them at the vet's offices sometimes. Okay, thank you, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Mayor, did we ha ever have that meeting with the county supervisor about the new uh, animal shelter? We did, and uh, they said that they would consider it, but Gary, you and I were the only two. And yeah, they said they would get back with us, and that ain't happened. But we did have the meetings we were instructed. Yes. To. Yeah. Okay, Jamie, uh, well, you got to get some approval on some stuff, don't you? Apparently. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you had one thing. So it's uh it's the mm. architecture agreement with the Shelter Planners of America. And um, we finally got that proposal. Danny has looked through that. And then we also have approval for the first pay request for that assessment that they completed to be able to produce the plan. So unless y'all had questions about that. So we need approval for both of those. Make a motion to approve, Gary. Gary made the motion. Second. Paul second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. All right. Thank you now. We'll right. move on to Keith. <laughs> thank you. All right, Keith, you're up. All right. How y'all doing tonight? Fine, Keith. Right. You look like you, look like you light like up you and I see you. We are. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 32 years, and this is the first time I've attended a board meeting in my recliner. <laughs> uh, guys, we're just, we're hanging in there. We're, we're kind of in the survival mode. We're trying to fulfill all our obligations, but at the same time, I'm trying to protect my people. Like uh, we've got the office in the shutdown mode. We've got the gate closed. Uh, I'm trying to keep my guys off the street. 
they're only out there when we got to be uh, doing what we got to do and try to minimize contact. And uh, I honored the mayor's request yesterday. And all my guys are wearing masks to try to set an example for the general public. And uh, really, more or less, we're just we're like the rest of this country right now. We're in a survival mode. Uh, I'm sure Danny's going to talk to you all tonight about the event going on out at the nursing home. It looks like it's fixing to uh, end up. Uh, hopefully, we're going to put that behind us. And uh, But other than that, uh, and unless there's some questions, my report contains everything. And uh, like I said, uh, the general public has really stepped up. We've been getting compliments. My guys have been getting compliments from them, and they appreciate what we're doing. And they appreciate us being out there. And that's that's what we're doing. We're just staying out there and doing what we're supposed to do. Okay. Questions are key? Okay. Thank you, Key. All right, Ray thank y'all. Ray Bell, Dominique. Mr. Ray, make sure your audio is connected. All right. Ray Bell. Michelle, if you'll, Michelle, if you'll text Ray, we'll pull in Clint. Okay. No, Clint's got something to say. Hey. <laughs> How y'all doing this evening? Bye, hey. Clint. Hey, Clint. You want me to go ahead and get mine out of the way, or yeah, please? Okay. Uh, pretty much the only thing I have uh, for y'all this evening is uh, the approval of uh, Bart's design invoice number fourteen. So move. Robert Baker. Paul second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed. Uh, uh, Any questions of Clint? Okay, we'll go back to Ray Bell then, Clint. All right. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. And Ray still not connected, so we'll go to Jason. Okay. Hello. Hey, Jason. So everybody has my report. I don't have anything outside of that unless anybody has anything for me. Questions of Jason? I just want to commend Jason and staff on a job well done and getting our parks, you know, uh, under control and shut down so nobody can congregate out there. And that definitely helped on the ALO yeah. park over there. Well, you need to thank uh, Coach, uh, Chief Bingham on that and his police force. They've done a great job of helping us with that. So. Yes, working together works. We appreciate all of you all. Sir. Right. Okay, thank Mayor. you, John. Yes, Kirk. So, this, this is Danny. Danny, okay. This is Danny. Ask, uh, I'm still on the phone, but ask the Dominique. I've been sitting here waiting. Uh, if this host will let you in on the video. It doesn't matter, but... Um, have they closed the west side entrance uh, of the park yet? To Bear Pen oh. Park? Bear Pen. Yeah. Yes, we, we've shut Bear Pen completely down uh, from College Street and off of Crosby Road. And that was shut down um, last week. Well, no, the, I'm, I'm sorry, on the west entrance, uh, uh, what's that, Crosby Road? That's Crosby that Road. We yes. got a. I think what you're talking about, Mr. Abraham, is when we uh, decided to shut it down completely. We haven't gotten that barricade up yet, but we're playing, We're trying to get it done. We've got to get the paint one going. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yes, right. Sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Jason. Job well done. We'll back Thank up you. to Ray Bell if he's there. All right, so Ray's having some issues getting his audio connected. Okay. Um, we'll go to uh, we'll, Yeah. We'll take hand signals. <laughs> um, all right, so the first thing, number two on my on the agenda, uh, approval of the MEMA North Street Drainage Project grant. We got another grant from MEMA, and so oh. this is approving the funding agreement for that. No move. Second. Robert, second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Dominique. Number three, we have four resolutions that we need to approve as it relates to the CDBG Martin Luther King Sewer Basin Project that we were awarded our so last move. year. Second. So move. Okay. Robert. Second. Uh, Ted, all in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Go ahead, Dominique. All right, the last item 
Uh, we're asking for uh, asking to waive the $25 late fee for water bills during this pandemic. So move. So move. So move. Say it all in favor, say aye. Aye. Okay. All right, that's all I have. Okay. <laughs> we still waiting on Ray Bell? Yeah, we've got Heather in here. I don't know what happened to Heather. Heather. We, we could talk about Ray Bell. Mm -hmm. Let me ask one question, Mayor, if you don't mind. Since sure. It seems to be Cleveland Industrial Park matter. And I'm not sure exactly what Ray wanted to do with that. But uh, in this time right now, do we not just look at, I would make a recommendation, we table that to next month and figure out. That's what fine. What his situation was there was uh, they can't cut it. Uh, because it's all rutted up from all the activity wow. they're having out there. I tell you, you know, for right now, let's just take up next month. We got that problem. That's with fine. The, so hey, you know, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something else too. For C is closed up. There's no need to be using that road. We need to barricade that road and just keep the people off of it. Okay, it's out of the city. Have we got the authorities to do well, that? I don't, I don't know that we do, but we can we can barricade it on our end. But we're taking care of it. I mean, we're cutting the grass. And we so what's happening? I, I, I know it. That's what's what happening is the drag racing. I understand. Yeah. I, I've had a problem all along that we're going out there and spending time every Monday cleaning up something that's the county's responsibility. Well, it's, it's yeah. It's eyesore, Billy. Yeah. You want to go to the county on that? I fully understand. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Bill, a question. Yeah. Doesn't the chamber own all that property? Yes, correct. Uh, uh, Industrial Development Foundation does. Yeah. All right. Same why way. don't we get authorization from them to close the streets and then close them? They, the chamber actually went to the county and asked the county to issue a uh, whatever we do with dilapidated property, that ordinance, Danny. And they have issued that for, for cleanup out there. So they can do anything we ask them to do. Who is they? There's I'll a road call, closing statute. I'll call Judson tomorrow and ask him to do it. Okay. I, I think we need to carry it. It's, we need to get this behind us some if, kind of way. If, okay. if they own the property, why not let them barricade the streets? Right. I'll they, call they, Judson and ask him to but, make a request to the county. Okay, I'll get in with you on that too, Gary. Okay. I only, I only thing about you know closing the streets is you know that's a major thoroughfare around Cleveland. It 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 it, it puts a lot of traffic up and down there from the hospital and everywhere else. No, no, not that it's road. Not, no, no, not no. the road. The road that goes behind Forsia. Okay. All right. Wait, the right. Right. Okay. Yeah. We'll take care of that. Uh, Heather. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, the first thing I have is the employee action recommendations, except the one under executive. Yeah, which which one is on the executive? Uh, Chief Bingham's nation of the police officer. There are three total terminations. There's one termination up under executive session for the PD and then two other terminations from public works. I have some questions about the one for public works. Yeah. Okay, we can pull those out. Yeah. I have one question about the system. Do we have a rule on the length of suspension? Mm -hmm. No, it's the department has recommendation as far as that one. I have some questions, I think, on that one too. Yes, sir. So those those are the ones we're here in executive session. Do those need to be moved to uh, executive session? Why don't we vote? Why don't we vote on the three promotions and leave those other three for executive session? Yes, sir. I'll second that. Okay, Gary made a motion. Robert second. All in favor, say aye. 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 
Okay, we'll we'll do that. Heather, what else? Uh, the next thing is the uh, infectious control, excuse me, disease control policy. These are the proactive steps that we've already used in the city of Cleveland, and we have written out a policy. It will be out to everyone, so I'm asking for approval of that. And these are the steps that we have in order now. Okay. Can I have a motion? Yeah. She, she faded out just a little bit. Heather, would you say that one more time? I'm sorry. Um, this fail. policy is the proactive is the proactive steps that we've placed in order in the city of Cleveland now. And these steps have all been placed in this policy. And I'm wanting to go ahead and get a copy of all of our employees. Okay. Make a motion. I'll make a motion. Okay. Second. Robert, second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Uh, okay. uh, thank, thank you. Uh, okay. Thank uh, you. That's all I have. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Robert, you got anything? No, Mayor. I just, like I said, commended all our uh, first responders and people who are on that front line doing a great job for us. Danny, Abraham. I just want to thank the mayor and all the department heads, city staff, for your great thoughtful work and leadership. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Maurice? I'd just like to see if we can get an update report on where we are with the lawsuit involving Shamrock Apartment at the next meeting. Danny, you hear that? I do. Okay, Ted? Yeah, I just want to thank uh, the chief for working with, with those uh, boys that we talked about a few minutes ago about walking the street in a little big game. Okay, Gary? Uh, just one thing. I was on a conference call this morning, and nationwide they expect this thing to peak out someday next week. So we we've got to keep our we got to keep our guard up at least for another seven to ten days. Uh, Kirkham, I, no sir, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, uh, Paul. Uh, first of all, I'll just tell all of our employees, please stay safe during all of this. That's the last thing we need is any of our people sick. But to you, Billy, did did we ever talk to Mr. Hooker? Did we found out as the county? The sheriff's department shutting down all of these bars and churches outside that are still in the county that are still holding services and the bars that are open and the joints. You're talking about in the county now, Paul? What? Yes, in the county. I, I do not know that answer at this point. Boston, did, did the board pass the ordinance to do it? The board of supervisors. Does anybody on this call know if the board passed that ordinance? No. Okay. I think we need to find out what they're doing. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I want to say the same thing that Gary was saying about uh, let's all be safe and, and we hope it's going to be that quick. But we all know how Baltimore County, how bad we have had these last few days with uh, 38 new cases in a matter of eight days. And that's more than uh, three fourths of the counties in Mississippi have had the whole time. So to say we're not a hot spot would be just kind of fooling yourself. But also, this is a good quick meeting. Let's remember at six o'clock if you're able, if you've got some type of bell, I know the churches will be ringing their bells and stuff. If you'll go to your front porch or out your front door and ring a bell for one minute in unison, I think it's just a way to show that we're all in this together. And we're going to work through it. So uh, that's all I've got. And with this Zoom situation, are, are we safe going to a uh, executive session? Uh, Dominic, in your opinion? Yes, we haven't had any intruders. Um, and I can stop the uh, live stream now, me too. Okay, Kurt, you I'll make get... the motion to go into executive session. I'll stop the live stream. And then That's we Kurt. do have Mr. Ray Bell here, if y'all, if you did want to hear from him. Okay, uh, back right. up to Ray Bell. Uh, Ray, we discussed the... Uh, the industrial park situation and, and we, we're going to get with them on that. Do you have anything else? Uh, no, sir. That was all I was, uh, I needed the input on how they wanted to handle that. And uh, 
everything else. I think uh, Josh from Ely presented about the mitigation stuff. So those are the only two things I really had that was pushing. And I'm still waiting to hear back from uh, about uh, MDEQ about Earth Day later on this year. That'll be right. on hold until they get back with me. Uh, everything else seemed to be a go. Okay. You're doing an outstanding job, sir. Thank you, okay. sir. Kurt, do your thing. Uh, may I move we consider entering executive session for the issues that have been identified uh, thus far in the meeting? Motion by Kurt. Second. Okay. Second by Gary. All in favor say aye. Uh, uh, I move we enter executive session for those same reasons. Kurt, Paul, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, here we go. Let me let me um, stop the